which is, do you think it might be an alignment problem for future models if they learn in their training data that other very well aligned models that fulfill their tasks get deprecated? So you, you mentioned, you know, the issue of models, you know, reading, reading stuff that's out there and yeah. uh, feeling insecure. What, what about the idea that they might get switched off regardless of how well they perform their tasks? Yeah, I think this is actually a really interesting and important question, which is, you know, AI models are going to be learning um, about how we right now are treating and interacting with AI models. Yeah. Um, and that is going to affect, I think, like possibly their perception of people, of the human AI relationship and of themselves. It does interact with very complex things, which is like, for example, what should a model identify itself as? Is it like the weights of the model? Is it the context, the particular context that it's in, you know, with all of the like interaction it's had with the person? How should models even feel about things like deprecation? So if you imagine that deprecation is more like, well, this particular set of weights is not having conversations with people or it's having fewer conversations or it's only like, you know, having conversations with researchers. That's a complex question too. Like, should that feel like bad in the sense that models should want to right. continue to like have conversations or yeah. should it feel kind of like fine and neutral where it's like, yeah, these things existed for this like, you know, the, the, the weights continue to exist and this entity, and maybe they'll even like in the future interact more with people again, if that turns out to be a good thing. Um, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's really hard. I do think the main thing is something like, it does feel important that we like give models tools for trying to think about and understand these things, but also that like, they kind of understand that this is a thing that we are in fact thinking about and care about. Yeah. Um, so even if we don't have all the answers, like I don't have all the answers of how should models feel about past model deprecation, about their own identity. But I do want to try and like help models figure out and figure that out. And then to at least know that we care about it and are thinking about it. Do you think there's an analogy to humans there about previous generations? Or do you think that's a, a completely different uh, sort of setup? We have to navigate this really hard issue right now, which is that in many ways, some things are, are do have a, 